In just a few minutes, you will learn how to handle the blocked due to unauthorized request error and hopefully get your pages ranking again. When Googlebot encounters a blocked due to unauthorized request error, this indicates that it attempted to crawl pages on a site but was denied access. This can happen when Googlebot tries to access content that requires authentication or special permissions. By default, Googlebot will crawl all pages in a sitemap, unless specifically told not to, via the robots.txt or noindex meta tags. During the crawling process, Googlebot needs unrestricted access to crawl, render, and index the content on each page. The 401 error appears in Google Search Console because Googlebot recognizes it doesn't have the necessary credentials to view the protected content. Once Googlebot receives this error, it stops attempting to crawl that specific page because it understands that it isn't publicly accessible. To find pages with this status, go to the Pages report on Google Search Console and look at the section Why Pages Aren't Indexed. If the site has pages marked as blocked due to an authorized request, the indexing status will appear on this list, and all you have to do is click on it to find URLs marked with this status. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, please consider subscribing. Our goal at SEO testing is to save you time so you spend less time pulling data into Excel and more time thinking about how to get more traffic from Google. Now, back to the video. There are multiple reasons that can cause the blocked due to unauthorized request error. For example, pages can have this error if they need authentication to access. This can happen when authentication is accidentally added to pages that should be available to everyone. The robots.txt file settings can trigger these errors too. While this file controls what Googlebot can't crawl, sometimes conflicting settings lead to these 401 errors. The same goes for the site security tools. CDNs and firewalls might mistakenly consider Googlebot a threat and block it. Security plugins and extensions are another source of these errors. If you notice this type of error appearing after adding a new security tool, check its settings. Luckily, there are certain things that you can do to stop the blocked due to unauthorized request errors. I suggest you start by checking the URL in your browser to see if authentication is required to access the page. This gives you immediate insight into the site's accessibility. When you visit the page, you will see whether the authentication affects everyone or is a Googlebot issue. If authentication shows up for all visitors, remove it, and Googlebot should access the page without problems again. Check the server logs to see if you find any 401 errors. The logs have information about the site for users and search engine bots, as well as the timing and frequency of the errors. A common pattern you might see is a 401 error appearing when users or bots try to access a specific page. This usually points to unnecessary authentication. If this was added by mistake, remove it and the page should be accessible again. The website's configurations define how it behaves via server settings, HTXS files, and content management systems like WordPress. These settings play a role in controlling who can access the content and how they interact with the site. When configurations have errors, they might create blocks that prevent users and search engines from accessing parts of the site. That's why you should make sure the configurations don't have errors or block access to content. I suggest you review the site settings if you find any 401 errors, which should fix unintended blocks. You can try using the URL inspection tool in Google Search Console to understand how Googlebot sees the site. This tool helps you determine if the 401 error is still happening with Googlebot after you have made changes to the site. This direct testing saves you time by instantly seeing whether your changes fixed the unauthorized request problem. If the error persists, you'll know immediately that you need to try a different solution. Sometimes fixing an error like this can be hard. If you find yourself out of your depth when dealing with this, consider speaking to an expert. You should look for a web developer or server administrator, especially one familiar with the site's hosting environment. Having their expertise can help fix the problem and prevent repeated mistakes. Now, if you want to make the most out of your Google Search Console data, use SEO testing to set up SEO tests and know what changes to your site increase traffic. We have a 14-day free trial for you to test it. 
sign up using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.